Hello, everyone, and welcome to my King's Gambit King's course. So, I would like to congratulate you. You finally reached the final boss, the most unpleasant move. E takes f4. Let's get going. Uh, first of all, first of all, this is the most principal move because, hang on, the guy gives away a pawn. So, why not just to grab it, yeah? For free. And uh, yes, it's it's really, really difficult to prove that uh, white is okay here. I really, I would say, I really struggled to find some uh, some normal lines uh, to make uh, the game work. And of course, uh, all, all our problems, uh, they begin here. Then our pawn is taken. Uh, so first of all, uh, we have some choice here, yeah? Uh, there is like uh, bishop c4 move, uh, d4 move, knight c3 move. There is even, uh, but don't laugh too, too loud, even h4 move uh, used to be played here. Uh, probably not so recently, but uh, it's one of, the, one of the gambits. But I'd like to suggest you to play <coughs> the knight gambit. Uh, King's knight gambit, it's the move knight f3. Uh, in my opinion, this move is the most logical, and, uh, well, first of all, we develop our piece, and also we protect uh, h4 from uh, uh, this very unpleasant check. And uh, I think uh, we should start with uh, the move uh, g5. Move g5. Uh, this is said to be, this is thought to be, uh, you know, the, the official refutation or something, at least, uh, uh, you know, in my... Mm, according to my uh, really poor knowledge, yeah, probably before I was uh, I started uh, making this course, I thought like okay, g5 is yeah something. Uh, the black should know some some lines here, but in general, uh, black is doing super fine, and g5 is the way to play against the king's gambit. Uh, but somehow, <coughs> I believe that white has a way. Uh, let's say a way out here. And uh, in general, it's not like white is fighting uh, only for the draw. It's it's very interesting, and I think the way uh, to play here for white is uh, h4. H4 is, you know, the most uh, a natural move in some points. So we have a, a target to attack, and we start immediately uh, by undermining this pawn structure. Uh, fighting for some space advantage, yeah, and uh, of course taking away uh, uh, taking away h4 square from the queen. Uh, yes, uh, so this is already already covered by our rook. Uh, you can also, you know, time to time, uh, especially in blitz games, you can try to gamble with, uh, I would say, uh, bishop c4 move here or maybe d4. But in general, uh, you know, I think sooner or later. Uh, your opponents would show like the the, the right continuation, and uh, sooner or later, like just ex extinguishes our initiative and uh, starts uh, you know collecting uh, material, or if they have uh, if they already have some material, then um, okay, our our destiny is uh, uh, is not that easy. Yeah, let's say. So uh, let's go with the H four move. Here, basically, two normal moves uh, exist. Uh, I don't even want to speak about g takes h4. It's just, it looks ugly, so it doesn't deserve our time. We just go for g4 and something. So the main move is, of course, g4. But there is uh, a rare continuation, g5. And d5 would be nearly killing blow, uh, because, I mean, OK, this g5 h4 uh, inclusion is just fine for all these uh, fuckbear counter gambit positions. Uh, but somehow we can play d4, and this is very nice. Uh, d4, so now we wait for d takes e4, and only now we take on g5. That's our plan. Knight f6, knight c3. Uh, somehow this move is also important, so we attack on e4. Uh, at the moment, uh, bishop c4 uh, is somehow not so good. Just, uh, you know, just trust me. Uh, bishop before is the move, and now bishop takes f4. So uh, the trick is after bishop c4 here, for example, black has bishop g4, a very strong uh, intermezzo, 
and uh, White is basically in a big trouble. So after bishop b4, we take on f4, uh, h6, and uh, seems like uh, we get to retreat with our knight to h3, but uh, as they say, not today. Today we go for bishop c4, and this is very nice. I bet if uh, in a practical game, uh, white would be even a slight favorite, especially if uh, black sees this uh, at the first time. So h takes g5, bishop takes g5, and now, well, uh, I mean, of course, I can annotate each and every engine move, but uh, I believe uh, almost no games, uh, or maybe no, no, no games at all. Uh, have uh, you know has been played uh, in this line with this move order. Uh, so just for example, I just show you a few lines here. So for example, bishop takes c3, takes and uh, queen d6. It may go like uh, just to maybe to prevent knight b5. So after castle, knight d5. Uh, but here, okay, uh, white plays queen e1, and it's really hard for for black to find find the balance and stabilize so maybe maybe you can try f5 but after g4 uh, this is just completely wild position so the problem with f5 move that uh, now we don't have uh, e6 square for our bishop anymore uh, so that's why this uh, move is at least questionable uh knight c6 queen takes c4 and bishop e6 is maybe you know a good attempt to minimize uh, the risk and well, white can just play on here with some moves like uh, I don't know, like rook f5, I believe, and then rook a to f1. Uh, but uh, at the same time, if you think there is uh, a right moment to uh, find a way out, you just go for. I mean, even rook f5 deserves uh, to be here uh, in our in our file. <clears throat> uh, but uh, I would say that. Uh, Queen d3 is uh, a nice way to force a draw. King d7, so this is logical, and we just take here. Queen d5, and we starting start breaking through. So probably queen takes e4 is the move. Uh, we play d5, another a tactical brilliancy, and in case if black takes, we just take, take, and rook a d1. So uh, the bishop is uh, clearly under attack. And uh, c4 is one of our ideas, so king e6 is necessary. And now there is a nice move, uh, g4, which basically forces the repetition. So our next move is rook, at eight, rook f6 check and then back. And uh, I don't see if black can uh, really do anything about it. So rook g8, for example, check, check. And uh, I don't think we even need to take on d5, because uh, in that case, position become, becomes a little bit shaky, but just keep on giving checks, and uh, okay, that's a draw. Uh, well, another move is knight c6. Uh, here, instead of uh, knight, uh, instead of bishop takes c3, also a logical one. So here we go, probably for the queenside castle, queen d2. Uh, bishop e7, uh, just uh, trying to retreat uh, and to protect our knight. Castles, knight e5, for example. And uh, yeah, but it's not so clear if we are going somewhere, but there is another trick, like bishop b5 check, c6 and d5. Uh, looks very nice, to be honest, uh, takes d6, uh, and uh, well, as usual, this ends in an unclear position. After knight c4, we calmly play queen e1, and after knight takes d6, we suddenly take here and take here. And this turns out to be not that simple for black at all. So. Probably black has to sacrifice a queen, takes, check, bishop e7, and for example, rook e1, queen takes b7, takes here, and g3. So this will most likely be a draw, but uh, you know, I think uh, black is probably need to be slightly more precise because white has a lot of pawns, and if, for example, white managed to collect a7 pawn, uh, you know, these uh, free connected passive pawns uh, could be quite something. Yeah, but I mean, of course, not while our pawns on the second rank. Uh, but uh, again, if uh, black plays carelessly, uh, this game can end uh, in you know, in white's favor. Uh, but uh, as for white, I think white always has sort of the way out because king uh, can never find uh, enough pawns to protect uh, you know his majesty from a perpetual check. <clears throat> 